but what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, his uniform's the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death, but when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time, but this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Nato-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, the Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 of them were... There's a detective at your school? When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school too. Hi, Senpai. Yo. Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Tokun was on. That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious! This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is in fact a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. 
The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naotokun? Yo.
Yes. Sorry.
So, about the Midnight Channel last night, I wonder who that was. I talked to Teddy and he says no one's entered the other side. Well, yeah, the killer's been caught. Yeah. Huh? What's up? Come on, get with the program. You saw the TV last night, right? So? It's got nothing to do with us. The killer's behind bars, man. You guys are overreacting. She had that shit Nalto said didn't make any sense either, so there's no use getting all worked up about it. Huh? Nalto-kun? Uh, no, well, how do I put it? What, were you out of it because you were still thinking about what Nalto said? <laughs> so you're still hung up on all that stuff. That's... I ain't hung up on it! It's okay, we all understand. Just don't go overboard, man. You little... I said that's not it! I got stuff to do. I'm out of here. Stop bringing that up, Yosuke. You know he doesn't think it's funny. Ooh, what, what? Did something happen between Kanji and Naoto-kun? Well, that aside, is it me or does the town seem kind of strange lately? Everyone is in high spirits for some reason, and they all talk about other people, but never themselves. Really? I don't think it's anything special. Now that the murder case is solved, people feel relaxed, that's all. That's how society is. They all just want to get in on the latest trend. People get excited fast and lose interest even faster. It goes round and round. And there's no underlying reason for it. I don't know. It still seems a little too weird. It's like they're all afraid of something. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I just had this feeling. Huh. It's gonna rain again tonight. We should check the Midnight Channel just. Welcome back.
Is that you, Senpai? Naoto was just... He... So, does this mean he was kidnapped? You said people only show up clearly on TV once they're thrown into that other world, right? The hell's going on? I thought we caught the damn killer! Oh, I I'm sorry. Being a detective, solving cases, it ain't worth shit if he gets himself kidnapped. Damn, that idiot pisses me off. Anyways, let's get the gang together and meet first thing after school. Last night on TV, that was Naoto Kun for sure. What's the verdict, Teddy? Is he really in there? I do smell someone. It's just like before. Nothing's changed. Like before. Of course! That's why Naoto Kun appeared on the news so suddenly. He said something didn't seem right and that he wasn't convinced. He also believed that the people who are kidnapped appear on TV first, remember? Wait, you're saying he's using himself as bait? We came to the same conclusion he did, about how people who become famous through TV would disappear. Could he be trying to prove the theory by using himself? You mean he got kidnapped on purpose? That's crazy! He could be killed! He said, this is not a game for me either. It's all my fault. I'm the one that said that to him. Idiot! Why the hell did he just tell us? He knew we'd stop him if he did. Instead, he left us clues so we could figure it out and... I know! That son of a... But, but what about the killer the police are holding now? Mitsuo did kill King Moron, right? It now, I remember Naotoken mentioning this. He said it was strange that the police were able to identify the cause of Mr. Moraoka's death. Then is King Moron the only one Mitsuo killed? That'd explain why there were no signs of King Moron being thrown into the TV. The killer didn't change his methods for King Moron. It just seemed that way because it was done by someone else. Then whoever kidnapped Naotokun, that's the real killer? But, but wait a sec. Didn't Mitsuo say he was the one behind it all? Why would he take the blame for someone else's crime? Isn't that weird? And they said on the news that the culprit confessed to the other murders too. There's also something else that's been bothering me, but... Um... To hell with someone who's behind bars! If we don't get off our asses, that stupid Naoto's gonna die in there! We gotta go find him! Someone's definitely in here, and the world seems to have grown larger. That's amazing, Risi-chan. There's no way my nose can pick up that much. Shall I give you a massage? Don't bother her. It's the same as last time. I know he's here, but I can't tell where. I need something that'll help me understand him. I need some clues. Without that, I have no idea which way we should look. Damn it! There's too much we don't know about that kid. But if we don't do something, he's gonna... Hey, snap out of it! This is just like all the other times. Let's not panic, keep an eye on the weather, and do this like always. We'll save him no problem. First, we need to look for something that'll help us locate him. I, I know. I, I wasn't panicking. We know he's over here. So all we gotta do is get him out. 
I'm sorry I couldn't find him. All I need is some kind of hint to help me understand him better. Then I could find him for sure! <laughs> <laughs>